Hey, I have a problem from the MIT integration B 2017 problem number 14. We have an integral from pi over two to zero of the square root of sine x plus one dx. It's interesting, we're used to integrating sine, cosine, but not usually inside of a square root. And there's quite a few ways that we could do with, there's quite a few different ways we could solve this. I think a u substitution would work. But what I wanna do is I just wanna see if I can manipulate this to get it into something a little more manageable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply essentially by one, but we'll multiply the numerator and denominator. There is no denominator, but you can make a one there. We'll multiply it by the square root of one minus sine over x. And let's see what this does for us. So we're integrating from pi over two to zero. Then inside this square root, we're gonna have one minus sine squared x. And I do that of course, because that is the same thing as cosine squared x. So next we'll take the square root of cosine squared x and that's just cosine of x. Now we could, we do at first need to have that in absolute values, but we can remove that and I'll show you why. The reason we can remove the absolute value is because from zero to pi over two, cosine of x is always positive. So we'll just remove that right there, but don't forget the dx. But now I think we really kind of fix this is we can do a u substitution with the derivative of sine being cosine. So let's call this our u. So we're gonna have u equals one minus sine x. Then our du, derivative that one is derivative one is zero, minus derivative of sine is cosine x dx. I'm just gonna throw a minus in there just so we can match this exactly, but I'll put it out front so we don't change the expression. So then rewriting this, We'll update our bonds of integration. We'll plug a pi over two in here. Um, sine of pi over two is one. One minus one is zero. And then doing the same thing for zero, plugging in sine at zero is zero. One minus zero is one. This whole numerator is gonna be du. So we'll write this as just du over the square root of u. But actually to set this up, what I wanna do, I'm just gonna write that in the numerator. So I'll write this as u to the minus one half du, because we're gonna use the power rule. One other thing, let's, we don't need to do this, but let's change our bounds of integration. So by changing the sign, we can flip the bounds and integrate from one to zero. Then we could just use the power rule. Integral this thing is gonna be u to the one half times two, just evaluated from one to zero. So plugging in one here, we're just gonna have two times square root of one is one. So we're just gonna have two minus Plugging a zero in is just gonna be zero. So we're left with our answer, it's just two. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.